G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD and welcome back to episode number 23 of the Foot Champions to Glory on my channel lads. Today we are opening our Foot Champions rewards. Obviously from the results of the weekend lead, we got ourselves silver 2. However, that's not too bad considering last week we only got bronze 1 from not trying too hard. Now you would know from previous weeks, I've said this before, but I'm not really trying hard in the weekend lead. I'm only playing around 15 to 20 games a weekend lead and getting around silver 1 or gold 3, etc. But lads, this week we got ourselves gold 2. Not too bad in the reward stand. We do get ourselves a red gold plaque, plus a medal pack, plus 15k coins, which will come in handy to complete the marquee matchups, which you would have seen in yesterday's episode. Obviously, I did record this before recording the marquee matchups, and you would have seen the marquee matchups in yesterday's episode. But today we have our foot chambers rewards, lads. We are going to open up this. 15k coins in the bank. I'm not going to complain. We will put that towards our squad after we complete the marquee matchups. But inside of our red gold pack, lads. There was no walkout. A little bit disappointing. Neither was there a high rated flare. However, inside, we got ourselves. Uh, no other than uh, De Rossi. Not too bad. An 84 rated, sorry, an 83 rated Roman player. And also, we got ourselves El Shoma and Colin Trell, the ex Real Madrid left back, which I didn't actually know he moved to sporting, but obviously he did. Portuguese moved to his local league, and uh, can you blame him? Not really. I think if I was playing football for that long, I'd want to come and play in the Australian league as well. But lads, we got ourselves El Shoma. Not worth too much at all. Around 700 coins, and Colin Trell wasn't worth much at all. But as you see, consumables. Very good. We can use them for the weekend league. Fitness cards, contracts, whatever. They come in handy, lads. They come in handy for an RTG. So I will send them to the club and discard the rest for 1,300 coins. As we do move on into the big pack. The big boy. The mega pack of this reward, lads. And as you see, there was no walkout, which is very disappointing, but we did indeed get ourselves another CDM Italian, but I thought it was De Rossi again when I opened it up. It wasn't. It was Tiago Motta. However, not too bad at all. Another pack which will contain contributables, but lads, you will see that Fernandez card goes for 5,000 coins. Not a bad return. As you see, he is Real Madrid, but he was relevant for the SBC marquee matchup. So I was very, very happy with that. Worth around 45,000 coins. Not 45, 4 to 5,000 coins. It might have sounded like I was saying 45, but he's worth 4 to 5,000 coins. And as you see, he was worth that much. And we were able to send him to the club and then use him in that SPC. So I didn't want to sell him, I just wanted to use him so I didn't have to go and bother buying a Real Madrid player. As you see, lads, I do send him to the club. All of these players worth a little bit in the end. Not too much, but worth around 400 to 600 coins per card, which does add up when you have a heap of them in the pack. As you see, lads, this guy here, Lodin Yinjin Bung Ding Dong, I don't know what his name is, worth for 550 coins, lads. Lads, not too bad at all. Also, that left back from the Portuguese, sorry, not Portuguese, the Italian lead, but the Portuguese nation, he was worth around 1,000 coins, which wasn't too bad at all. As you see I do finally list him up as you see a 500 coin bid there and you will see I do list him for around 850 and when I checked him up on the market he's cheapest for 1000 coins so someone got a bargain there but it doesn't matter lads we still get 850 coins not too bad at all as you see we do see this guy goes for a little bit so we do list him up for around five or six hundred coins and he does indeed sell in the end you will see at the end they all do sell Lee Jung Shung Hung I don't know what his name is, but I did butcher that. I do apologize. Wasn't worth too much at all. I did list him, but you will see at the end he didn't sell, so I did just, just I did just quit selling. And then consumables, lads. Consumables to go towards the weekend lead. Not too bad at all. I do I do keep that fitness guy because he does upgrade when you put a fitness onto a player. Powerhouse Premier League thing. And we get ourselves a cheeky 3,000 coins in the pack. Can't complain. Absolutely not. We do indeed discard the rest. And they go for quite a few coins, lads. 2,300. Not too bad at all. A total of 24,000 coins in our bank total. And you will see we go ahead and build our new squad, lad. Chris Smalling, 5,200 coins. I do go and pick up one for uh, with an anchor card as you will see and uh, he was worth a little bit you know anchor cards do impact him a little bit now I wanted to put an anchor card on and not a shadow the reason why is because I wanted to build but but boost that pace but also boost that physical and defending not just the defending but both of them so I wanted an anchor to fit Chris Mullen and you will see I do pick a one up for 5500 with a lot of contracts on it so you know contracts are important on a new RTG they're very important I was gonna buy that one but then I found one with around 43 contracts not too bad at all I pick him up Chris Mullen welcome to the club my friend now what frustrates me about this EA towards a game always stuff up on something the transfer market is now stuffed up when you 
you buy a plier, it says that you haven't bought it, but really you have. See, what you have to do is go and buy a pack, it will say you need to claim these items and then claim the items then. But it annoys me when EA do this, it honestly does, but Loot Shaw is another player that we wanted to pick up, because what, what I actually did was sold our players to complete the Son SBC. You guys would know that, that I had to sell all of my players in the in the squad, in the weekend league squad, to complete the Son SBC. So I was waiting for my rewards to pick up these players again. Shaw goes for around 2,400 coins with a naked card. No, I didn't mean to put the Hunter card on there. I always stuff up things like that, you know, I, I go and put a shadow, I want to put a shadow on him. But I put a hunter card on him or something. Just, I'm so hopeless. But lads, you see, it says that I didn't buy him, but I did buy him. It was 2,400 coins in the end. Loot Shaw, welcome to the club. And you see, lads, our next purchase was a big one. We needed uh, this player for our, for our super sub. You know, I do use Musa as well as Renato Sanchez. Some of the most two overpowered cards in the game. And Musa, oh sorry, Mane. Mane was announced purchase, but I will, uh, I will uh, guarantee you I do buy Musa at the end. But Mane goes for around three thousand coins. You will see I pick one up with um with I believe a Hawk card because he does boost his uh, physical pace and shooting, and I like to do that on Mane because he is a very good card, very overpowered card, very pacey. And when I boost that pace, when I boost that shooting and physical. He turns out to be a very, very overpowered car. But lads, you see, I do put a hawk on him to see if I can pick one up. And you see, I'm going through, and they're worth around 2,600 coins, but that was for the 79 rated one. I needed the 82 upgraded version. But as you see, I nearly bought that one, but then I realized it was 79 rated. So I thought, no, nope, not buying him. I'm going to try and find a, uh, an 82 rated one. As you see, I go through, I find a few. All of them were at right forward, which is a little bit of a problem because I have been using the uh, the 433 and then converting to the 4331 mid game. We pick up <coughs> we pick up this one for 2800. Not too bad at all. It does say that it wasn't bought, but it was bought. And Mene is going to be welcomed to the club, lads. As you see, we now go and buy Musa uh, with a hawk card as well, I believe. As you see, he was worth around 1200 coins, and I believe I bought him with a hawk card with 1200 coins as well. I believe it was around 1200 or 1300 for a Hawk card, Musa. But as you see, lads, not too bad at all. Musa is a very good impact sub. In fact, he's a very good card to start in your main squad. I'm just saying that right now. But as you see, a Hawk card, there was a lot of them on the market, and he was worth around 1200 or so. I believe with a Hawk, he was 15. Yeah, so there was a lot of them with a Hawk on him. Obviously, a lot of people have the same in mind with me. Upgrading the pace, shooting, and physical. And as you see, I do buy one in the end with three contracts, not in on fitness. Not a bad return at all, lads. And I do believe I needed to buy Butland, because I did have the loan version in my squad uh, because I did claim him from the catalogue however he only had it around five games less so I needed to uh, buy this Butlin to indeed put him in my main squad he was worth around 2k can I complain not really the most overpowered keeper in the game obviously a lot of people use him and that is why he is still 2k uh, in this game he fits into every single Premier League squad. Uh, you know, lots of Bailly, Chris Smalling, Marshall, Butlin. They're all going to be expensive because of how overpowered they are. And we do indeed pick up a fresh Butlin for 2,000 coins off the transfer market. As once again, it says I didn't buy it. But I did buy it, lads. And I'm sick of EA stuffing up the transfer market. It does really annoy me. But as you see, to fix the issue, you just go and buy a bronze pack. And then it says you need to claim some items. And I do indeed go and do that, lads. And I send all of these to the club. And you will see the squad that we do indeed have with ourselves. Uh, in just a moment. Not too bad at all. I'm very happy with the way the squad's going. We've got ourselves SBC Son. We've got ourselves SBC Gerard. Team of the season Lalana, which we did pack in our free team of the season pack. What a squad, lads. What a freaking squad. As you see, this was the squad I was using in the DKT. A lone player on the right with no chemistry. Uh, Bellerin on four ke or five chemistry on the left. It was just a disgrace, just a disgrace, and you will see, I had to sell Chris Smalling, and, oh sorry, I had to I had to sell Bailly and uh, Jed Yelga, and I was using those two bronze centre bats in the DKT, and I did lose to a super team. I might show that gameplay, when I do show the DKT that I win, if I do indeed win it, I, I should, uh, you know, I will show you the gameplay where I did versus an absolute super team, Team of the Year, Suarez, Messi, Bayer, whatever you want, he had the squad, and uh, I lost to that with two bronze centre bats in, uh, in the centre bat positions, and I believe this final score was like 4-3, so I was very unlucky in the end, I believe Team of the Season 9, Golan scored the winning goal for him. So disappointing, lads. Very, very disappointing. But as you see, we do indeed put Musa into the squad alongside Mene, Smalling, and indeed Luke Shaw. Mene goes into that right wing position. Uh, I do believe I use Musa as a super sub. And I, I thought I had bought, um, oh, what's his name? 
Chan. Chan. I thought I had bought Chan, but I didn't. And uh, so I was looking for him, but I didn't actually find him. Shield goes in that left at bat position. Jagiela swaps out for Smalling. And I do believe I put the lone Bellerin into that right bat position, lads. But this is the squad that we have ourselves at the moment, lads. Not a bad squad. At all, as you see, I do accidentally press the button to try and try and apply something. But I tried swapping him for, uh, I believe it was Walker as a concept player because I wasn't looking at Walker to buy. But then I realised I should be doing the marquee matchups instead of buying the Walker and save my coins. So indeed, I had Walker in the transfer. I uh, checked his price. I was going to buy him, but then I thought, no. I'm going to just wait out and use Bellerin. But lads, this is the squad. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. What a squad it is. I'm very happy with the way the RTG is going. Just five weeks old. Look what we've got ourselves. But lads, that'll be it for me. I hope you enjoy your day. Have a good one. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you want. And peace. <laughs>